I am Yvonne Keefe. I am married to Jim Keefe, and I have two children in the Northampton Public School System, Liam and Caitlin. I am running to be your next city councilor in Ward 6 because I believe it is time for a change. Overrides, budget misprioritizations, and a city government that does not believe in keeping its citizens informed has led to the residents of Ward 6 being alienated. I hope to change this. I retired as an officer from the Massachusetts Army National Guard after a 20-year career and began volunteering in the city, school system, and youth sports programs. My background includes employment in both the private and government sector. I paid my way through college by working two jobs, and I graduated from Maryville College in Tennessee with a degree in social science emphasizing business and management. My career in the military taught me the importance of leadership, a strong work ethic, project management, goal setting, and accountability, skills which I will bring to this position when elected. I did not vote for the override, and I do not support the idea of any overrides in the near future. I will tell you how I feel on important matters and will not be silent when it comes to your tax dollars. I am not here to make myself look important. I am here to encourage Ward 6 and this city to unite in making Northampton an affordable place to live by listening to the citizens' concerns, therefore acting responsibly with long-term goals versus short-term fixes. I support good fiscal management and the ability to manage our assets in an intelligent manner, one that is consistent with good management practices. The city must live within its tax base as we, private citizens, must live within our budget. The city government's answer to expanding the tax base has been to increase our taxes, fees, and pass overrides, usually with the threat that services will be curtailed or suspended. We have many residents in this ward who live on a fixed income, and it is not fair to keep going to these residents time and time again as a problem solver for difficult budget decisions. We are driving our families out of the city due to the multiple increase in these fees and taxes. I believe the city government must work hard to increase our business tax base. We have a beautiful city, a vibrant downtown, and a great school system. There is no reason we cannot focus our energies on smartly enticing more businesses, hence more jobs, thus increasing the tax base to our city. As an example, the use of the empty buildings in Florence, which would make an excellent location for a small high-tech manufacturing company. I see cities like Westfield that properly use commercial space to host small manufacturing companies and now has a revitalized downtown and an increased tax base. Maryville, Tennessee, much like the population and natural resources surrounding Northampton, now hosts the corporate headquarters of a famous restaurant, increasing their tax base. We have sections in the Florence area such as the former Pro Brush Complex, the Nonatuck Mill, the old mobile station location, and the recently closed Victory Fitness Center, which could house a small business or company. We must leverage our relationships with institutions like Smith College and UMass, local banks, the Cooley Dickinson Hospital, and other established city businesses to create synergy in the commercial tax base. Additionally, programs such as paying in lieu of taxes, also known as pilot programs between cities, hospitals, and colleges, are becoming very popular streams of revenue for cities. We have several pilot potentials in Northampton, and these revenue streams should be explored in order to alleviate some of the tax burden for homeowners citywide. I believe we can be successful in initiating a pilot program at least one of these entities. I would like to help the taxpayers in Ward 6 get a return on their investment by seeking potential revenue from sources other than overrides, an abundance of fees, and direct hits to the departments within the school budget. When elected, I will represent the people of Ward 6, not my own personal agenda. Please consider casting your vote for me on Tuesday, November the 5th. Thank you.